Hello and welcome to another segment of Deep Conditioner and Deeper Thoughts. So today I want to talk about something that has been pissing me off. And that is the fact that I've been sick for the past three weeks with a viral upper respiratory infection. I can't really hear, I can't really smell, I can't really taste. So my life has just been amazing these past three weeks. That was sarcasm. It's been horrendous. I've cried many times. You know what else I'm sick of? YouTubers or influencers. I wanted to make this video to simply say this. Please, please, please do not drop out of school because of YouTubers. I have spoken to multiple children who have no other aspirations except to be a YouTuber. And one of these children cried when we told her, hey, you know, why don't you be a teacher or something? She cried. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with wanting to aspire to be on YouTube and Instagram and be a content creator. However, it is not okay to sell children and teenagers the idea that you don't need school that's scary and really really irresponsible now i ain't gonna say names but there is this daughter of this very famous actress who vlogs her college experiences and she said verbatim in her video i don't really care about school she said this to millions millions of kids and teenagers. That is so irresponsible. Young creators attract a young audience because the audience feels connected to that creator. But what they don't understand is that these famous young kids are the farthest thing from relatable. Being 17 years old, going around the world, driving fancy cars, wearing expensive clothes, being friends with celebrities, that is not realistic for the average Kid, it puts the idea in their head. They're young, they didn't go to school, and they're super successful. I'm young, I don't need to go to school, I can be super successful too. And the cold truth is that not everyone is gonna be able to do that. There is a lot of luck that goes into having that kind of lifestyle at that young of an age. Statistically speaking, that is almost dang near impossible to achieve on hard work alone. Look at my little hairball. <laughs> What's that rat from Ratatouille? Remy. I'm gonna call him Remy. I'm gonna be doing an apple cider vinegar rinse on my scalp and my hair because I have a lot of itchy dandruff and this is a great way to get rid of it. Anywho, I have actually seen some young creators make a video called why I dropped out of school. And in the comments, there will be a bunch of kids saying, oh yeah, you know, I've been thinking of dropping out too. But what they don't realize is the reason that those kids are dropping out is because they're making a lot of money. These kids are buying themselves houses and Teslas. Of course they can afford to drop out of high school. It is not realistic for the average human. And statistically speaking, dropping out of high school makes life harder. I'm not saying that going to school is the only way to ensure a good future, but it's definitely going to increase your odds. Now, I just want to be very clear that I don't want to talk down on people who weren't able to finish high school. Because in that case, I would be talking bad about my own parents and most of the people in my family. I'm a first generation high school, college, and university graduate. My mother had to drop out of school in second grade because she was an orphan. And my father was basically forced to drop out of middle school. So they were never able to finish. And that's okay, life happens. What's not okay is for these famous young people to sell the idea to their audience of hey I didn't go to school and look at me because they're not acknowledging the rarity and the luck that goes into having that kind of life that's dangerous because they are now influencing their young audience to make a decision that's going to predispose them to a statistically harder life and as a final note I just want to say this there is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to become a content creator on YouTube or Instagram. However, please, please, please understand that it is not a given. I've been doing this for six years and I'm still nobody. You have to invest so much time, weeks, months, maybe even years until you start seeing a return of investment. Like when money actually starts coming in where you can buy things, pay your bills. Trust me, it is not as easy as going viral in three months. So if you want to be a content creator, do it out of passion, do it for fun. So I just wanna finish this video with these three points. Please, do not chop out of school because of YouTubers. 
stay in school, finish, consider higher education. It's not the only way to have a secure, stable income, but it definitely is going to help you by a lot. Two, if you want to become a content creator, don't do it for the money. Do it out of passion. This is actually better because when you don't make content for the money, your content is a lot more genuine. And because you're doing it out of passion, you feel a lot more fulfillment with your content. And three, please, please, please do not take this as an offense if you were not able to finish high school. Like I said, my parents didn't finish. Most of my family didn't finish. Life happens and that's okay. However, it's never too late to finish. Last week, I spoke at the Ad Council Hispanicize event where we talked about the importance of inspiring people to finish their diplomas. So for me, it was a little difficult because I didn't even understand what college was. Like, I didn't, I don't even know, I didn't know what that was. In my family, people just didn't graduate high school. They didn't go to college. That just wasn't because of unfortunate circumstances. Thankfully, my now husband, we're dating then. He comes from a college educated family. So he knows that whole process of like college and scholarships and financial aid and all this stuff. It was so overwhelming for me. I went to nursing school and I graduated with highest honors and I am I'm gonna get, graduate with my bachelor's highest honors in December, which it's wow. so insane to think about that. Cause like I said, I never thought that could be me in a million years. It shook me to my core to see like, whoa, I have potential and I didn't even know it. If you or someone you know wants to go back and finish their diploma, you can go to finishyourdiploma.org to find free classes near you. Yes, they are free. Whether you're 18, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, doesn't matter. You can always go back and finish. A lot of people don't go back to school because they feel embarrassed, because they feel it's too late, or they're too dumb, or it's not for them. And that's not true. You just need to find your passion. Most people who go back and finish their diploma say that they feel such a strong sense of accomplishment and they feel inspired to keep going and consider college. It's okay to walk at your own pace. Already, y'all. So that was my video on education and YouTubers. I hope I got my points across clearly. I'm not trying to bash anybody. Comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know down below what you think about what I said or what you think about this topic. And let me know what else you would like to see on this channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.